Pig hunting has always been a massive part of hunting for me, so I always keep an eye out for the latest and greatest 12 gauge. A few months ago a mate picked up the new Axel Bush Pig and I got a few shots away with it on a hunting trip just to get a feel of how it handled. The biggest thing I immediately noticed is the handy push button cycling system. There are a few variants in the Bush Pig lineup with a 28 inch barrel, 20 inch and a tactical 20 inch XT and a walnut version as well. The XT has a neat heat shield along the barrel. So after putting in my PTA, I ordered the silver Cerakote XT model. The shotgun comes with some standout features, namely its break action ability and the ambidextrous push button on top. Having been a lever action, lever release and straight pull 12 gauge user for several years, it was great to compare them to a push button model. For pig hunting, I want quick follow up shots being able to stay on target. And this is where the bush pig does a great job. Similar to lever release, the push button works on a gas inertia system where the shell is ejected after each shot. Once fired, the gas blows the bolt back which ejects the spent cartridge. The bolt gets held in place until the button is pressed. Once pressed, the button slides forward, chambering the next round, ready to fire. Loading the shotgun is easy through the traditional loading gate underneath and the shells just simply slide into the tube, which I'm familiar with from most other shotguns I've owned. There is, however, another way to load the shotgun by breaking the action and fitting the shells directly into the tube. There's a little latch that catches each one as it goes into the tube. As for how many rounds it holds, the tube holds five rounds in total. With the magazine full, the chamber around the bolt handle is pulled back and the push button pressed to cycle the bolt forward ready to go. To open up the shotgun, that little latch behind the weaver rail on top of the shotgun is pulled and the shotgun folds in half. The brake action makes the shotgun incredibly easy to clean and holds this ability over other shotguns I've used. Breaking the shotgun in half also makes transport way easier, something I noticed loading the car up before my last hunting trip. The compact bag is a lot shorter than my usual long gun bags and means it's just easier to pack around other gear. Like changing the seat when you sit in someone else's car, the bush pig lets you customize the cheat comb so you can get the right sight picture behind the shotgun for you. There's two little screws that you can loosen and adjust the cheat comb to the height that suits you. Having grown up shooting a lot of military surface rifles, they've got pretty unforgiving metal buttstocks so I tend to notice when a heavy recoiling firearm just doesn't quite kick as expected. There is a very soft buff pad used on the bush pig. That is a nice surprise. And I wasn't expecting it to have that softer recoil. I have run slugs and buckshot through it and the butt pad does a great job of mitigating a chunk of that felt recoil when using the shotgun. I'm used to having a few extra rounds attached to the side of my precision rifles, so having a spot to hold two 12 gauge rounds under the buttstock is a nice addition. The clips are a hard plastic and have kept rounds secure for the last couple of trips out with the bush pig. The bush pig comes with standard iron sights, but also comes optic ready with uh, weaver rail mounting options on the top of the action. This allows you to easily mount a red dot, and I got a Zerotech Thrive HD red dot, which was a really quick install process compared to the usual mounting process for one of my long range rifle scopes. Overall it measures 104 centimeters with a 20 inch barrel and weighs in at around 3.5 kilo. The machining and fit and finish are a lot better than expected for the price bracket it sits in. I feel like this is really what you want in any purchase is to be impressed with the quality for how much you're paying for it. It feels really solid in the hand and definitely gives you confidence that it's going to hold up to a beating out west. I definitely feel it could retail for a few hundred more and if it was I wouldn't be surprised at all. A few years ago I did have a new shotgun fall to pieces only after a few rounds of double or buck uh, through it the first time I took it out. So I am pretty critical on new shotguns I pick up. As a result I tend to use them pretty hard with buckshot uh, on hunting trips especially when I get them. Really put them to the test. With two hunting trips under the belt with the bush pig, I have a really good feel about how it handles. I've put about 10 different loads through it, slugs, buckshot, and even trap rounds. The advert online says it can cycle between 28 gram and as heavy as 36 gram. So far I haven't had any issues with all the shells I've fed it. It comes with a few shotgun choke tubes, which means you can get plenty of options for spread patterns to suit the type of hunting you're doing. If you find your spread patterns a bit too tight or too loose, you can easily change it out. There's full modified and cylinder chokes. The recoil isn't too bad thanks to that gas system and that soft butt pad. Normally there's a little more damage to the shoulder after uh, coming back from a weekend of shooting buckshot. As for a safety, there's a positive cross bolt safety located in the trigger guard. It's in a pretty convenient spot and easy enough to switch on and off when needed. Sticking to the trigger guard, the trigger on this shotgun is really good. It breaks at about 4 pounds 7 ounces or around 2.5 kilo and doesn't feel too heavy at all. The charging handle is textured and easy to grip, making the initial pull to the rear on a full mag easy and pretty satisfying. It took a bit to rewire the brain, remembering to use my thumb to cycle the next round. Muscle memory kept wanting me to press a lever, but after a few dozen shots, I successfully mapped it out, meaning I was able to get shots away in quick succession without overthinking it. As for transport, I liked the small soft case that comes with the gun. 
it's a nice change from the usual easily identifiable long rifle bag. The only improvement I have for the shotgun is to help with transport and the field is adding a sling so I can put it on my shoulder when I'm on foot. It's been a pretty interesting ride over the years with the evolution of shotguns in Australia. Lever actions, then straight pulls, and now more recently lever release until finally here we are at the convenient push buttons. I find myself continually impressed with the quality of shotguns coming out of Turkey. The construction, features, and price point make this a very attractive option for those seeking out a scrub shotgun. I found it really fun to use and it hasn't let me down on my hunting trips. I like using the push button mechanism when I first tried my mate's one and now that I've had a few trips away with it I can say that I really love it. Another part of me is also thinking that going back to a shotgun without the convenient brake action is kind of going to hurt. Overall I'm really stoked how my latest scrub shotguns turned out.